Hello everyone, and welcome to... solo Avidia. That's right, it's just me, your boy singular, D-Marks. Tom C is undergoing a radical treatment for his butt-itis, and we pray him the best of luck in his treatment and hope that his butt returns to its regular state. Um, as I said, I'm your host, D-Marks, here for this solo edition. And I figured, normally my solos lately have an Overwatch, and I figure you guys might be a little sick of that. I know I'm a little sick of Overwatch at the moment because of terrible things that I'm dealing with personally. So I think we're going to just do a little Sid Meier Civilization VI for a, couple, for a couple days. I hope you all enjoy that together. The Polish are new. Did they have anyone else since we played? No, Montezuma was added. We already had that. Um, so they get the ability to, like, culture bomb people, which I think is kind of a dick. They made them pretty good. They made this lady pretty, uh... Uh, T-H-I-C-C. -C. Um, so I'm not sure... What we want to do. I have really enjoyed... I haven't played this game as much as I've played 5. But I've really enjoyed Gilgamesh, and I've really enjoyed Pedro the Second. So I think we're going to stay away from those. Let's see. What do we got? <laughs> I normally like Wonders a lot. And... But I, feel, I feel like I should do something different. I feel like I should do something out of my ordinary thing. So let's have some fun... with... Ah, this is tough. Guys, a lot of pressure. You don't know what it's like to to do some things. We'll, we'll play as we'll play as France. So what do we got as France? One level of diplomatic visibility greater. Extra spy. Uh, medieval Renaissance wonders. Tourism. Better fighting. All right, cool. Rock, lock and load. It's, it's France time. Break out the wine and cheese, kids. We're going to France. From the first stirrings of life beneath water. She's like, hey, I got some French wine. To man taking his I feel like the gold steps, rim around your far, what I can what I call a champagne flute. You'd like to believe. From this early also, it's weird that she's Italian, guys. Right? Like, like I realize what they're going for in this game, but it's weird they chose an Italian-born queen of France. Not that France has had... I mean, you could have gone with Joan of Arc. Why wouldn't you just go with Joan of Arc? They, they, just... It, who cares? If, if you want to go with a... Eh, whatever. Whatever. Everything's fine, guys. I'm not bitter at all. Sean Bean just kind of narrating us up. Oh, looks like we have a friend coming up. Oh, not so anymore. Here's my cat. Ugh. Guys, I'm comfy at my own station. Alright, looks like we're nestled in the Fertile Valley. We got some rocks here, some jade, and some ship. Perfect. These are all things that I, as a Frenchman, love. Alright, you're just going to automate. Guy's going to run around. Ah, did I put on slow speed? Shit. Ah, standard speed. Ooh. That's tough, guys. I've learned playing this game that the the real winners, you play it uh, quick and speed. Because slow speed just takes a long time. And for some reason, it's just not as engaging as... Because I, I would always play standard in my... Um, like, Civ 5 ones, I never played quick or anything like that. But for some reason... In this game, like I just just don't don't have it. Like I enjoy it, I enjoy the changes that it's made, but playing it on normal speed for some reason is real tough. Right, these guys can pop on over here. Let's check what we got. Oh, we got an extra scout. That's cool. I'm in for that. So he's gonna go up in these mountains here yonder, and everything's gonna be great. So yeah, a couple big changes from this game over to five. For those of you who don't know, I played five quite a bit. It's a lot of fun. 
I think so anyway. Um, I think definite downgrade in terms of visual and whatnot. I feel like the UI is not as good and not just as pleasant. It's definitely a lot more intrusive than I feel like it was in 5. But we're going to go over some other stuff together. Ooh, I found a sweet samurai sword. <laughs> One of those m apostles who, <laughs> who carried around a sword. And I guess... Alright, well, then, it, guys, now in case we... Uh, in case we found a religion in this game, we're going to go with Bushido or Buddhism. Just to piss off any potential... Ooh, Kabul. What do they got going on? Alright, so they're like a military city-state. So, we'll, if we befriend them, we'll get uh, better productions with building dudes. So, they want us to recruit a great general. Probably not going to happen anytime soon, but I like your gusto, Kabul. I've inadvertently kind of sent both of my scouts both ways, which I'm not into... Uh, we should go for a monument, because I would like to get a little bit of culture going. You're just kind of my... Keep everyone away Sing from... Ooh, looks like we found... Singi de Bamaraha. Jagged spears. And yes, they will cut your pretty face. Guys, look that up, because it's really neato in real life. I like the natural wonders that they chose in this game, because it's, you know... You definitely get your classics... Oops, I didn't mean to tell you where that was going. You definitely get your classics. You got your uh, Great Barrier Reefs. You got your ever your Killman Kill 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 Mandraros. We also got some other ones that are that are cool that I can't remember. Well, you got that one, which is like a cool volcanic uh, spree, and the other uh, others and the rest. These guys are engaging in deadly stick combat. Nope, oh, they're backing off. Okay. It's good money is there's probably going to be a barbarian up here. A barbarian campant, we'll say. Luckily, is the French. Ooh, we'll sneak right around. Oh, they told us all about masonry. I love masonry. And Mason Lee, a good friend of mine who plays the saxophone in a popular band called the Saxophoners, if you would not have guessed. Uh, okay, so, big thing about, big change about this game, they're basically civics work the way that um, technologies do, so we're going to... We're going to do plus five versus combat versus barbarians, and plus one gold, plus one faith in the capital. Hey, we can choose a pantheon. Neat. We're on our way to founding Buddhism. Um, <laughs> what's what's nearby? What what's what does Paris know about? We're good. We're good on rocks. So pantheon relating to rocks is not, would be good. <laughs> Stone circles seems like an obvious choice. We'll go with stone circles. So now, when we build our quarries here eventually, they will help us generate more faith and we'll start to generate a, uh, we're actually generating a lot of faith. Maybe. I'm curious how we're gaining so much per, per turn. I guess Paris is just good on faith. This guy's discovering all sorts of encampments. Um, another big thing is barbarians are serious business in this game, so you want to make sure... Actually, I don't know where that encampment is. But you want to make sure... Oh, it's right over there. We want to make sure this guy doesn't report back that Paris is a thing to his uh, barbarian friends. Otherwise, we'll be like, Oi, mates, let's go get Paris. One, no one night in... Ah, oh, they already... Oh, boy. We're about to, we're we're spoiling for a fight, guys. We're in trouble. Definitely use masonry because I feel like we're gonna need that for that thing that we want. 
Well, we know all about early empire now. Our empire is the earliest. Yeah, so that exclamation point means that he knows where we live. So we're going to really try to work to intercept it because a barbarian invasion a barbarian invasion is not what the French need at this point in history. We're almost done with our monument. You know, I just I'm between armies right now. I just don't I don't think in my life I have the wherewithal to kind of stomach that. We're going to get a Oh, we can hit Stonehenge. I wouldn't hate Stonehenge. Um, I'm not crazy about putting it right there, but it's too late. Guys, you know the rule about this game with me. Wonders all the time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy's reported back to his cronies, so... I think we're gonna... I think we arrived just in time to see the villain's plan come to fruition. Yep. Well, on the plus side, we at least have some army here. So we can start putting the hurt on these guys. Right quick. Because if we can destroy this barbarian encampment, then we don't have to worry about the invasion anymore. Yeah, that guy's going to do that. We all saw that one coming. Oh, I wish that guy didn't suicide himself. Really wanted to kill him with a slinger. And then, yeah, get him. Yeah, be a bonk, bonk. Do the old spin trick. Alright, so it looks like the crisis has been averted there. These guys are all dead now. We're working on building Stonehenge, the the most wonderful... Oh, fuck. Alright. Another nice thing... The really nice thing about this game is when you promote a unit, they heal. So, normally in Civ Five, you'd be like, should I heal this guy because he's right next to an enemy unit or should I uh, back him up? Luckily, it does take your it does take all the movement points away, so it's not so he does lose his turn. However, if we hadn't have healed that guy up, we would have been he this this barbarian might have just attacked him and we would have lost him, which would have sucked because he had a promotion. Why are we tooting? It's because he's available for promotion. Yeah, I will say that I really do love the Sumerians because war carts are awesome and their bonus of basically every time you capture a barbarian outpost, uh, in addition to the gold that you get, the Sumerians also get um, a bonus as if you capture, as if you ran across one of the. Oh, fuck. Ugh, this other barbarian's great. Ugh. I'm gonna have time to heal. We gotta haul butt back here. Uh, basically, as the Sumerians, every time you capture an outpost, in addition to the gold that you get, you also get the a bonus as if you found a hidden tribe. So the one game that I had, my science and culture were terrible, but because I was so good at conquering. Or cutting a piece of stained glass. In the construction of some because I was so good at conquering oh we got a new uh, civic because I was so good at conquering barbarian outposts all the time I was getting so many inspirations for science and culture that didn't matter and I was just always I, I was at least I was at least as good if not ahead of my opponents just because we gained so much insight from conquering the barbarian hordes around me which I think was cool Alright, I think these guys gotta heal up. I don't want them dying out on the trail. Luckily it shouldn't take them too long to do so inside. The mighty borders of Paris. The world's city. <laughs> the world's most city. 
Scout's gonna go ahead do a little I don't scouting, I, I guess you would say. Military knowledge. But if men make war in now that we have military tradition, we actually um, flank people, which is good. Because uh, we couldn't do that before in this game, because that's just how it works. Uh, we'll go with foreign trade. We can use some trade. Oh, look at this guy promoted up. Hey, we figured out those, those, that landlocked small village that was nowhere near a body of water told us all about sailing. Way to go. Alright. There's... Breslov. They, want us to rec uh, they also want us to recruit a great general. Okay. Not sure why everyone's so hot and bothered about all these great generals. Guys, come on. He has... While playing the same tune. Get a little originality in you, huh? So it's weird we haven't discovered another empire yet. We can't really, uh... Apparently we're just running into these things. Oh no, we ran into a third city-state. But there is another town right there. There's Stockholm. Ah, oh, somebody else finished Stonehenge. That's not too surprising because our our production is not very good. All right, we'll start getting a builder because we gotta we gotta go going with other things. All right, we're just gonna run train on this guy real fast. Take that. Leave the dog alone, though. He'll be fine. We got an extra recon unit. Perfect. He will explore this area. Or, alternatively, he's going to cock block this other scout from getting near us. And then. Alright, things are going okay, I guess. We haven't really done anything. Oh, what's Auckland? Eureka for wheel. What do we need for wheel? Minor resource. Okay, I can do that. So, guys, diplomacy also works a little different. Uh, city state diplomacy works a little. Oh, it's this guy. City state diplomacy works a little different in this game as well, as you might have imagined. Um, instead of like a track, they have what's called envoys, and the number of envoys dictates the bonus that you get, and then also you get a unique bonus when you have the most amount of envoys, and the envoys are over. So somebody already discovered Preslov. That's interesting. wonder who that is. Oh, of course he's right there. Oh, this guy's going to get it. I'm gonna smack him with my stick. <laughs> this guy has knowledge of a city that he knows his barbarians want to plunder. However, he has no idea where that, where any of his barbarian friends are. Slinger, you're accidentally going that way, aren't you? Just get back in Paris for right now. Hold down the fort. I think we're gonna tell this guy off. <sighs> it's very annoying. Hey, we found a... Oh. This guy really booked it. He knew what was going to happen. I really would have preferred that they hadn't taken Stonehenge away from me. If there are no dogs in heaven. So, John the Baptist. Alright, so we're a bit of a ways. We don't have any means of generating great profit, so... And, of course, that scout ran away. But we did find this. Great. Just what I wanted this guy to have. More experience. Um... We can run really fast. And also, we're gonna give him a new name. Salty Watch. Perfect. Guys, in case you didn't know the rule, first name, best name. 
At least it will be in this run through. All right. Um, yeah, I also want us to build a holy site. Uh, so different districts, by the way, districts are buildings that you need to build outside your city center. So why is that kind of thing next to it? Oh, okay. So we're going to want to put a factory here. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll drop the money and put it over here. So districts are, th are expand your city center, which I think is kind of cool. Oh, there he is. So now, our city goes all the way over here as well. And now uh, Auckland's cool. They're DTF. I'm cool with more production for buildings and junk. Yeah, this guy. Oh. Also, what is nice is that improvements are built instantly. That's a real trade, guys. Uh, workers only have a limited number of uses, but they at least do what they're supposed to do really fast. Anyway, guys, this is it for our first episode. Get ready for a couple more over the next couple of days. I hope you enjoy them.